Hey everyone, Mike here with Nesher Equipment, and today we're going to talk about what to do if you ever run out of charge in your electric loader and you're away from an outlet. Now you should never really need to worry about this because there is a large battery display on the instrument panel and it's very easy to watch your charge throughout the day of working so that you don't run out of battery. Additionally, it's recommended that you charge when you get down to around 50% battery instead of letting it run all the way to zero. You can let it run to zero, but it's not as good for the batteries and you'll get several more years of use if you charge up when you get down to 50% instead of taking it all the way to empty. It's also just a good idea to charge up after every time you use the machine, again to get more years of use out of the batteries before you do eventually need to replace them. But let's say it's been a long day, you've been out working it and you didn't notice your charge was getting low and you've run out of battery too far from an electrical outlet to run an extension cord. This is not a unique problem to electric loaders, you can run out of diesel or gasoline just the same, but solving it's a little bit different. Now you do have several options. The first is to use a portable power station. So I've got one right here. This is a thousand watt hour portable power station. It's basically the battery version of a diesel or gasoline generator. And you can plug the charger into this and then charge your machine straight from this generator. Now this unit's 1000 watt hours is just over 10% of the size of the battery in the Nesher L880, which is around nine kilowatt hours of battery. So you're not gonna be able to recharge the whole thing, but you should be able to get the battery up to about 10%, at least enough to drive it back to your shop, barn, warehouse, wherever you park to be able to charge it the rest of the way from your AC outlet. These are effectively the equivalent of a little red gas can or a little yellow diesel can for electric vehicles. Now it is important to make sure that your portable power station can support the power that the charger draws. These chargers draw somewhere between 12 to 1400 watts, so you want to ensure that your power station can provide a continuous 12 to 1400 watts of power. Now if you don't have a portable power station like this, you can use a diesel or gasoline generator. Some people have these at their homes that they use in an emergency situation, and you can bring this out to your loader, turn on the engine, and start charging up from that. It certainly works. It's not as ideal because generally those uh, generators are sort of a, I hope I never need to use it, sort of insurance policy. Uh, they've got their own engine maintenance issues. You gotta keep fuel around, that sort of thing. So generally a portable power station, like a uh, battery station like this, is going to just be a nicer option. And also you can use them for all sorts of things outside of this specifically. They're great for camping, anytime you need power in a remote area, using uh, corded power tools uh, far out in your your yard or, or out on your property where you don't have somewhere to plug in, that sort of thing. Now the third option is that you can use a vehicle with an AC outlet. There are several vehicles that have their own power outlets in them, so if your car puts out 120 volts or 240 volts for a 240 volt country, you can certainly plug your charger into that. You know, if you have a gasoline powered vehicle with power outlets, you may want to have your engine running just so you don't drain your battery all the way down. If you have an electric vehicle with power outlets, then it's not gonna be an issue because your battery is going to be much larger in like an electric truck than the battery in a compact loader. So you'll be able to charge up fully from an electric vehicle's battery. So those are several different options for being able to recharge your loader in the field if you ever run out of battery. But again, it's not something that you should ever really worry about as long as you're just watching your battery gauge on the instrument panel just like you would watch the fuel gauge on a diesel or gasoline machine. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you found that helpful. If you want to learn more about these awesome electric loaders, you can check them out on nesherequipment.com and who knows, maybe there will be an electric loader headed your way soon.